What is up guys? Welcome back to the vlog series where I take you into a weekend of my life as I prepare for my first ever national pageant. If you are new here, my name is Taylor Imch and I am your Ms. Ohio Prime Division 3. And if you are not new here, welcome back. Happy to have you. Today is Friday. It is August uh, 19th, I believe. Yep. August 19th. And that means we are 20 six days away from the national stage in Orlando, Florida, and I am so, so excited. So welcome to the Four Weeks Out vlog. Kicking off this week actually started yesterday. Dylan and I went with some of his coworkers to the Franklin Park Conservatory for this awesome event that they had called Cocktails at the Conservatory. And we had so much fun, it was beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and insert some of those clips right here. We had a really awesome time. It kind of rained a little bit. It was sort of a weird rain. I also got a notification while we were there that my Starbucks account had been hacked by someone in California who was using my account. And I had to deal with that as we were there, but it was fine. Anyway, we had a really great time. Like I said, it is now Friday, August 19th. I am finished up with work and I am still on the hunt for a luggage set. I have not just went ahead and ordered one. I'm actually out looking for a set. So currently I am at the TJ Maxx and Home Goods. We're going to run in here and see what we can find. Let's go. that was not successful. <laughs> so I liked the pink one, the very first one that I showed you guys, and they only had 
a 24 and a 28 inch and the 24 was very scuffed they didn't have a carry-on size so and then the second one I think I showed you guys was not the right pink too pink if there is such a thing there is that one was way too pink and then that was literally it they had like the worst selection sorry my lighting is really bad right now but we did not strike out completely I did end up getting a black um, Columbia jacket I had one once upon a time and I don't know where it is I think I left it when I went out sometime and never purchased a new one so I found just a regular black Columbia jacket um, these are just great to have for fall and it was only 40 bucks so I'm doing a horrible job at showing you this but anyway Columbia jacket 40 bucks and then I was in line and I gasped when I saw it the girl behind me like laughed at me are you ready <laughs> oh my god I am obsessed I don't really care about the socks they're just like stars so I don't really care about the socks all I care about is the cup it was six dollars that's a steal for me I love it so probably just gonna head home make dinner work for a bit watch a movie typical Friday stuff tomorrow however is going to be decently busy I have a hair appointment tomorrow with my girl Keisha which I'm so excited about I have not had my hair even cut or styled or anything in over a year and it is getting very very long as you guys have probably noticed it's real long so I'm gonna take probably a couple inches off of it just make sure that it's healthy and nice and luscious looking for nationals but other than that I don't know if I'm gonna do anything super drastic to it probably safer not to as we are less than a month out so I have a hair appointment with her tomorrow Dylan is going to top golf for a bachelor party get together and then tomorrow evening we are going to a uh, bowling event for the zoo it's called bowling for rhinos so we will be at that tomorrow evening of course I will take you guys along with me but for now let's go ahead and make our way back home and start some dinner Saturday, August 20th. Last night when I got home, all I did was make dinner. We had shrimp alfredo and then we watched The Man from Toronto on Netflix and we weren't really that impressed. I haven't been very satisfied with movies recently, but that was really all we did. And then this morning we woke up to our back deck being ransacked by what we can only assume was raccoons. Dylan has a couple pepper plants and some big potted plants on our back deck and there was soil everywhere. They tore down our patio lights and busted a couple of the light bulbs so there was glass everywhere and Dylan went to let the dogs out this morning and was like what in the world. So we spent the morning cleaning that up and getting that situated but if you saw in the last clip of the dogs the big dirt spot on the deck that's what that is from. So this morning, Dylan and I have just been chilling. Uh, he went to the gym and I am out shopping and doing some things before my hair appointment at noon. Of course, you guys know that I am getting my Bucky's before we head out, but I need to go to Ulta Bath and Body Works and possibly Hobby Lobby. I have a photo shoot next weekend with Chris Hawks. He did our launch party photo shoot so if you follow me on social media the photo shoot with the red sequin dress those are um, all of Chris's photos 
He contacted me and asked me if I wanted to shoot next weekend and I was like, absolutely. So I need to go get some lashes and I'm also on the hunt for a couple other things. So of course I'm taking you guys with me. So let's go have a fun day today. that they didn't have all of my patches, but I did get a couple, so I'm gonna have to find some more. But I also found this. Look how cute this is. I don't know if I'll actually end up using this. I might just return it, but I feel like I can use it for something. And then I also got these little, are they, are they ceramic? I don't know. These little pots for, um, one of my coworkers, we are throwing him and his wife a baby shower and it's just part of the theme. So that was really all I got. I don't think I've ever left Hobby Lobby spending $13. So pretty proud of myself. Now we are headed over to Bath and Body Works. finished up at Bath and Body Works and even with a $25 gift card I spent like $50. It's like it's so easy to do there. I grabbed some soaps. These are actually going to be probably for the office. Dylan and I were in need of a new marshmallow fireside. This is just a classic so <sighs> grabbed one of these and then I grabbed just a couple of the car scent things if I can find them. I just grabbed a couple. Um, this is the Renew and Refresh. I grabbed a pumpkin cinnamon one and I think the Cactus Blossom because the Cactus Blossom is like one of my favorites. And then I just grabbed a Wallflower that's also a nightlight for our bathroom. So that was it. So now it is, it's 11, 12. Uh, Keisha just texted me, so I'll see what is going on with her. Um, let's see here. Um, oh, that she's just running a couple minutes behind. That's perfectly fine because I still have not eaten today. And if I'm about to go sit for two hours getting my hair done, I want a full belly. So I think um, we're gonna skip Ulta for now. Go grab maybe Chick-fil-A? That sounds really good. Maybe. We'll see. Go grab some food and then head over to my hair appointment. Just got to Keisha's studio. I did stop and get Chick-fil-A and now I don't feel the greatest. <laughs> I have been eating mostly salads for the last couple of weeks and after having Chick-fil-A, I feel like my body is like, where did that just come from? So not feeling super great, but... I'm still very excited for my hair appointment. I have no idea what we're doing today. I have looked at some Pinterest stuff and I just am so undecided. So I'm going to let Keisha kind of work her magic and trust her. Keisha has never let me down before. So I am just gonna let her do her thing. I don't know if we're gonna cut it, dye it, 
I don't really know. I did mention we're not doing anything super drastic because we are 25 days out from nationals and I definitely don't want to do anything risky before nationals. So I'm sure it won't be a huge change, but I'm still really excited. I'm just waiting on her to let me know when she is ready for me and then we will head inside. We cut off some of the deadness and I love it. I think she did such a good job. Oh, she always does. It's so cute. It's like better than what I was even hoping for. I love it. Okay, I have a couple of hours until the bowling benefit for the rhinos this evening. It's three o'clock. I don't think that starts until like seven. So I came back over here to Ulta. Gonna run in here and grab probably more than I actually need, but gonna run in here and grab at least lashes for my photo shoot next weekend. And then we're going to head home, let the dogs out and change and get ready for this evening. How long was I in there for? I just walked out and it rained. The roads are flooded. Like I just had no clue what was happening in there. But I want to show you guys what I got. So first and foremost, I just want for the record to say I did get lashes. I'm showing you the wrong side. I did get lashes. The Demi Wispies always. This is typically what I get just getting a fresh pair. But I just want it to be known. We did get what we came for. But of course, we also got more. I grabbed my tried and true Kat Von D Locket Foundation. This is a wonderful full coverage foundation. I've used this in bodybuilding competitions and I absolutely love it. So just restocking this guy. Also grabbed Mighty Patches. I just ran out so needed some more. As you can see, I had this little guy right here. He needs to go. So um, grab some more of these. And then I also grabbed a white NYX jumbo pencil. I haven't been able to find the white one anywhere, so I saw they had a couple in stock. Went ahead and grabbed it. And then I also picked up this Nude Mood ColourPop palette. I saw this on TikTok and thought it would be perfect for the colors of my gown and also for a nine pan palette. Um, being this small, I actually really like it because it'll travel well and it's got some pretty cute colors in it. So really happy about this. Spent way too much money. That's okay. This is all stuff that has been on my to buy list for the pageant. And it actually feels really good to like go out, shop, get my hair done. Like I'm just having a good day. Now I need to cut myself off and head back home let the dogs out and get ready for our bowling event. I came home and made the mistake of laying down on the couch and now it's 6 12 and I should be leaving in like 20 minutes. <laughs> I know babies, I know. Everybody's all cuddled in here. Beanie down there. <laughs> uh, but we have to get up and get ready. Okay, I just made it to the bowling alley and passed the most horrible looking car accident with like seven cars, which was not good. And this is also in a very sketchy area. It's Dylan's car. <laughs> but I mean, the bowling alley is kind of cool. Definitely a nice little setup here. I got my bowling balls. <laughs> um, fun fact, I used to bowl in high school.
I have horrible lighting right now because it is 10.08. We just got done, just got back in my car and going to make my way home. Um, Dylan has to work tomorrow, so we are gonna go home and immediately go to bed, but just wanted to close out the night. Bowling was super fun. Um, I actually did pretty well since I haven't bowled in a while, but I was pretty pleased with myself. Bowled a 142 and then a 145, I believe. Um, so pretty decent for me for not having bowled for a little bit. We are gonna head home now and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, good morning. It is now Sunday. I am posted up at my computer because I am working on a presentation that I'm doing today at one o'clock. Um, it's another Disney related presentation, but more so about how to book your Disney tickets, how to make a reservation, how to use Disney Genie, and then also just how to navigate to the parks. I realize that, you know, people have never been to Disney before and it can be very confusing how to get around. And I am doing a presentation today for the Prime girls who are going to Disney on the 15th um, just to try to help some people out. So putting together a little slideshow for that. Before we do that at one o'clock, it's now 8 a.m. I have to go to Walmart and get dog food. And then of course do all of the Sunday stuff. So grocery shop, meal prep, and then do my Sunday self-care routine. Um, so a pretty eventful Sunday. I also, I asked Donna to hold me accountable to trying on all of my gowns this weekend. I need to just make sure that things are still fitting correctly and that I'm liking how things are fitting. So I definitely need to do that today as well. So a pretty loaded Sunday. I'm gonna drink my coffee, work on this presentation and then head out. So happy Sunday, here we go. Okay, it is now almost two o'clock. I just got done with the Disney presentation, the Zoom that I was doing, and that was so stressful. My dogs do not make anything easy when I have to be on a call or a live or anything like that because they insist on wrestling in the background. So it's snarling noises and zoomies and running, and then I was watching Rocket tear up Dylan's um, pepper plant on the porch as I was talking. I got a delivery at the time I was talking. It was just chaotic, but thank goodness that that's done. Oh, I also lost internet. So my Wi-Fi went out temporarily, um, but we recovered. It was fine. It's done. Now I have my grocery list all ready and I am headed to the grocery store. Dylan called and let me know that Jake is coming over to help him with something plant related, I don't know, and asked if I could make pizzas tonight. So I'm headed to the grocery store and while I'm there, we'll grab stuff to make homemade pizzas. So let's head to the grocery store. We're done at the grocery store and I figured now is as good a time as any for a car chat. even do a proper car chat because of how obnoxious the roads are. But anyways, as of today, we are 24 days out from the competition. And this past week has been so busy, but not with pageant stuff, with work stuff. And this upcoming week is about to be just as busy. And I'm just feeling the pressure of trying to get my work team in a good place 
that way I do not have to meet any um, deadlines or have any like emergencies happen while I am in Orlando. And I'm just busy. I really was hoping that at this point, right before nationals, I would feel really good about everything, how everything's fitting, how prepared I feel. And this past week, probably because I didn't focus on pageant stuff so much, I'm starting to feel like I'm behind. And like I said, I asked Donna to hold me accountable to trying on my gowns this weekend and I still haven't done that. So I have to do that at some point today. Let's cross our fingers that the gowns are still fitting the way that we need them to fit. Although I know I could get alterations done if I needed to. I just don't want to have to deal with all of that. So hoping that the gowns are still going to fit today. Just made it home. Just made it home. Gonna carry in groceries, start meal prepping. I need to clean some stuff, finish some laundry, and it's already three o'clock. Where do the Sundays go? Sundays just go by so fast. Then get started on making this pizza for Jake coming over tonight, and I guess try on my gowns. Let's head inside. All right guys, finishing up meal prep, Dylan's meals are still cooling and just found out that Jake is no longer coming this evening. And I forgot balsamic vinaigrette for our margarita pizza. So I am sending Dylan to the store to go pick that up. And I figured I might as well just wrap up this vlog. I wanna say thank you guys so, so much for following this series. I have so enjoyed filming these for you. And I just cannot believe that we are four weeks away from nationals. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. You can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and over on Facebook, as well as find what I'm up to on taylorimpsch.com. Thank you guys again, and we will see you next week.